This is the micro measurements system 8000. It has eight software selectable inputs, so it can take strain gauge, thermocouples, and high level inputs. So, a very useful bit of kit for doing thermocouple outputs at the same time as your stress analysis and even sort of load cell inputs all, all on one display. It has a thousand samples a second. That's not multiplex, that's per channel. And it has a standard Ethernet connector to the computer. It uses a VCAL card utility, so when it comes to calibration time, you don't have to send this instrument back to us. You just send back the VCAL card. It avoids having downtime. It also has a relay output if you need to switch off a machine or have a warning light if something's getting close to failure. It takes a standard DC input, so it can run off vehicle power, or it can run off the mains as supplied. These things are typically used on PCB testing, uh, tensile test machines, um, and they're used an awful lot by universities. They're quite small and portable. They can be taken to a workbench and set up. And we give free technical support for the life of the instrument. So you're not going to be on your own with this. We'll, we'll give you the help you need. <coughs> Uses the RJ45s, standard gold flash connectors, so they're very high quality, very repeatable. And one of the most important things when you're using these connectors is to use a good crimp tool. It doesn't have to be the most expensive tool in the world. I mean, this is just a Rolson tool. It does the job very well. The most important thing to do is make sure it's a crimp or ratchet activated tool. So you see, I can't release this at the point. I have to take it all the way through before it will come back. I set up a simple stress analysis crimp. We need the three wires. Go straight into one, two, and three. If you're using our thinner cable, the 330 DFV, it helps just to separate the red off from the black and the white. Just helps with the spacing. Push it all the way home into the crimp tool and crimp all the way. We'll crimp out, and as a final check, check that all the pins are below the level. It's a nice, good crimp. Well, Alan, I've got a quarter bridge strain gauge on a beam here, which uh, I'd like to see connected to the system 8000, and I'd like to see how the software is set up to actually get me data from this beam. Perhaps you could give us a demonstration of how to do that. Okay, hey, the system 8000 uses Strain Smart, so it's very easy to set up. I've already pre crimped this connector, so for argument's sake, we'll go in channel 1. I need to connect the DC power. and connect the Ethernet lead to get our connection to the computer. Switch on the power. We'll start with a new project from StrainSmart. A file, new project. I don't need to save my existing project. We're gonna use the new project wizard. It makes it very easy to set up and take data. It takes us step by step through the process. I'll simply give it a name, and test. I'll leave all the rest of the settings the same. So we need to tell it what sensor we're using. It's a uniactual. It's one of our student range of gauges. It's a CA 06 240UZ and it's 120 ohms. So we know what gauge we're using. We tell the software that it's 120 ohm gauge, so we can do the bridge completion. We're not having any thermal effects here, so we'll just apply. But if you were using the thermocouple inputs, then this is where you'd enter the data. We're not gonna put in the material information here, but if you are doing stress analysis and you want to, this is where you'd add it. Then we need to set up the channels. Because there's software selectable, we need to tell the software what we're gonna connect. So obviously we're gonna connect a strain gaze to channel one. It appears in the list. Then we need to tell it what we're connecting. So we're gonna check the sensor, it's gonna be on channel one, and it's a quarter bridge.
if we're doing a very large project we might want to assign different areas but we've only got one sensor so it's not required for this and I'll simply save that the next stage is to tell it what we want to record so 10 samples a second and express setup all assignments at a continuous rate so basically as soon as I press record it starts recording just need to go online with the system and then we need to zero it as you can see there's no errors or warnings if you do have an error sort it now you know, give us a call check your wiring don't continue if you get errors and then shunt calibrate to take out the lead wire desensitization as you can see it's actually calculated out the resistance of the lead wire already for us and the final stage is to arm the project if this at this stage you want to actually see what you're doing which is quite nice to see I'm going to reduce it as strain and then the green triangle to start scanning then by bending the beam I've got live strain output the red square to stop do you want to keep the acquired data normally otherwise you wouldn't be doing the test if you duplicate it it keeps the same zeros if you're doing more tests and now we're in software we can view that data and there's the live data I took this can now be exported to Excel, ASCII or various other options Thank you, Alan. That's very useful.